Good morning, everybody. It is 7.26 a.m. in the morning, and I stopped here just to have a little breakfast at this diner, and I told you guys this morning, I've been seeing, like, these numbers all the time, like, I just seen this one, I think it had four or five eights in it, and then uh, I've been seeing 88 all morning, and I just parked right here where I'm going to have uh, breakfast, and look at this here. I told you I see 17s a lot, too, but, you know, right here where I park, 1788. You know, I mean, you, you, you can't make this stuff up. And it's just like right here in our face. Yeah, it kind of tells me. Things are changing, man. I mean, really changing. And it's like changes right in, in front of you. I wouldn't think there'd be so many 88s in plates everywhere. And, I, and it's not just in this state. It's every all day yesterday I was seeing them too. And the day before, a lot of them. Yeah, and then I told you on my birthday. Uh, I was born in 60 on the 23rd in May. That's 5-23-60. It adds up to 88. I've seen it all the time. A lot. But, uh, not just that, but I'm seeing the threes too, the fives, even fours, and just a lot. Triples everywhere. You guys, this place is, uh, people aren't what they thought they were. They're nothing more than host. A host that the spirits can dwell in. You know? If we're not truly following, loving Christ, we're leaving ourselves set up for these demonic spirits being able to just host India. They've been here for a long time, you guys. Remember what Jesus said, the prince of this world is Satan. Satan's a prince of this world. Daniel's 12.10, where it says, Many will be tried and made white. That's what's been happening, you guys. We've been uh, being purified, made, made ready to be a bride in Christ. Cleansing us. Letting us know who we are. Oh, look at the address here. Is 1188. You guys, look at this. You might have to zoom in on it. Let me see if I can zoom in on it a little. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. No, right where it says breakfast connection, above the door, it's 1188. You know, 1188. You can't make this stuff up. You know, it's, it's like, wow. I think we're looking at, like, uh, things are getting ready to change, you guys. Remember this. Now, God's in control. Always has been from the beginning to the end. So, um, knowing this, you know, we know our Bible, what it says. You know, Satan couldn't do nothing without first getting permission from God. You know, so... And it says, don't have a sudden fear when we see the destruction of the wicked come. All these things are getting ready to happen. We're going to be witnessing. It says we come out of great tribulation. Okay. Um, am I concerned with the day and hour when we leave? Not at all. I know it's close. I know it's real close. And uh, I also know that he said we won't know. Only the Father in heaven knows. But we know... It's any time because of the season, the things that are happening. Jesus told us to watch. And I think it's more watching like the things that we're seeing now. And it's telling me how close we really are. We're real close, you guys. But uh, we need to be making sure we're prepared. Um, and don't be deceived because there's a lot of people that will lead you on wild goose chases. When what you really need to be doing is 
watching what's happening around you and being ready for the things that are about to take place. Okay, when the time comes to go, we'll be going. It's just that simple. And uh, when Jesus says, no man but the Father knows, not even the angels. So therefore, shouldn't we trust what the Lord says? I, I believe so. I know so. And we should be doing what he said to do. Watch. You know, these things are at hand. You guys, these are some, look at those clouds back there. These are some awesome times that we're living in right now. Awesome. This is the time. And you know what? You want to trust everything that Jesus is saying to you. Okay? Every, re every word. Remember what he said? All these things that we see right now, they're going to be, when these things are all gone and destroyed, only one thing's going to remain, and that's the word of God. So what should we be doing with our time here? We should be listening to the word of God. Not what man says, but what Jesus says. Be careful, you guys, okay? Don't be deceived or distracted by anybody, okay? Just be watching like he told you to do. We see the season, what's at hand. We know what's about to happen. And uh, be getting yourself prepared, okay? God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. It's in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ.